morning travelers. I'm here in Wadi Musa, Jordan. Took three hours to get here from Amman. This is the main city right next to the famous Petra. And the bus now just dropped me off. And I'm heading to my hostel to get rid of my backpack. And as soon as that's done, I'm heading back down this hill to spend a full day in Petra and see the ruins. Of course, this is Jordan's main tourist attraction, so I hope it doesn't get too busy. I got here with the bus company called Jet, which is mainly the only bus company for tourists to get around. Worked out really well and wasn't too expensive either. inside the massive area of Petra there is so much to see there are beautiful rocks everywhere I hope I have time to see enough in one day I'm now at one of the most beautiful monasteries here in Petra. Um, Petra is absolutely stunning. Like this thing was built 2,000 years ago, or even more. It's amazing to just walk around, do hikes, and see the beautiful nature as well. It's not just the temples they build; it's also these, all these rocks. One thing that spoils this beautiful experience Petra could be for me, though, is uh, the way they treat their animals they have here. And there are so many dogs around, camels, horses and donkeys and especially the donkeys. They are just kicking them without any reason and they're really treating them really bad. So I would really advise you not to ride on any donkey or camel they have here. Rather support the local businesses, the handmade craft things, the, the all the pottery there is. There's so much you can spend your money on but don't do the donkey tours because the way they treat them is just not how it should be done. But apart from that, as I said, absolutely stunning. One of the most beautiful things I've seen so far. Uh, you're not allowed to fly drones in here, unfortunately. I asked one of the policemen and um, he asked me to show my drone to him. And then he just said, uh, put that away very quick. They, they shouldn't have let you in with it. Uh, at the first place. I really picked the perfect day to come to Petra. Morning there, I just took the bus from Wadi Musa to here to Aqaba. I'm staying a bit outside of the city, here at the coast to the Red Sea and I'm basically here because I just wanted to see the sea and uh, maybe even go snorkeling, diving, I have not decided yet. But it's um, now just lunchtime and I'm definitely going to do something this afternoon. 
I have a single room this time, lots of space for myself. It's quite basic, but fine for me. And then it's so nice here, so much warmer than up in Petra. It was freezing cold last night and here it's 20 degrees outside, even though it's winter. So I just had my first dive right now ever. I really really enjoyed it, it was amazing, um, beautiful out there with lots of corals and special fish I saw. At first I had some problems with my ears, they didn't pop, you know, like the pressure was too much on my ears. Then like the breathing as well, you have to get used to it. But then as I got used to it, it was so amazing. And then I rushed back to see the sunset and it was very special to sit there because on the other side of the Red Sea, there's Egypt to the right, there's Israel, and to your left is Saudi Arabia. And we are in Jordan, so it's quite a special place to be. I'm now at the south end of my trip. I'm now heading back up north, and I think tomorrow I'm going to the desert. Body Rum, let's go.